Hi folks, welcome back to the channel and welcome to my review of the Affery P310. It's probably the biggest portable power station that you're ever going to come across in your life. So uh, yeah, let's go through the specs of it and um, it's got a 2000 watt solar input. So I've got a collection of solar panels here. <laughs> uh, I'm going to see how far we can get with that. Although not sure if the, yeah, the weather's going to play ball today. There is some blue stuff up there, so let's hope it pokes its head so we can get some of that good stuff and see how much power we can actually get running through this. Usual sort of controls on the front, so we've got some normal USB sockets, some USB-C sockets of which we've got one 100 watt PD port. So uh, yeah, that's quite cool. Uh, DC wise, we've got two of the barrel connections, three amp. We've got a 12 volt, 10 amp sort of SIG lighter socket. And we've also got a 25 amp XT60 connection as well, which is pretty cool. Um, and then down here, whoop, behind this flap, we have got three 240 volt, three pin plug connections. One thing I do like about the uh, bottom as well, <laughs> is the handle. It makes portability that much. <laughs> I mean, how easy is that? Because it does weigh, obviously, an awful lot. We'll get through to that spec in a minute. But yeah, that is a genius idea to be able to move it around a lot easier. And there we go. So yeah, you are reading it right. On the top there, it says 3,600 watts portable power station. 3,600 watts with a peak of, uh, well, yeah, four kilowatts. So this is gonna be able to power absolutely everything and anything you wanna throw at it. Power your house. A uh, cool feature as well is charging. So as well as it being rated for a high charge, you can actually select the charge using this little knob here. So yeah, you can actually sort of set it to whichever power source you want. So if you have got a 2,200 watt kind of, uh, you know, main hook up, um, so like at home or whatever, then you can charge max power and get it charged in, in just over an hour and a bit. Or if you're on a campsite, uh, you can take it down to 400 watts or 800 watts, or even if you want to charge it from something like, a, you know, an inverter in your van or something like that, then you can move that and move all the way down so yeah so this knob controls um, the charge rate We've also got a light on the back there as well and there are the charging sockets so that's your mains hookup charge socket uh, this is what we're going to use for solar um, and that is obviously the uh, override protection circuit and um, just in case there's too much power coming in that thing will pop out the unit can take up to 2000 watts of solar so i've got a selection of solar panels here right now um, all folding solar panels. I'm going to wire them all and um, yeah, we're going to see how much we can get. And the sun has just popped out. So I'm going to grab that clear sky now while it's still there. And we're going to see how much solar we can get through to this unit. So they're all matched into sort of uh, matching voltages. So a mixture of parallel and serial connections. And with that panel obviously being the biggest voltage, it means I have to match everything else to be roughly the closest voltage you can to try and get it all balanced out. So that's taken a few minutes to do that. Quite out of breath now, because it was a bit, you know, like, whew, whew, ah, let's do it. And then, um, yeah, the sun disappeared. So I'm hoping that the, the blue stuff there is gonna make an appearance long enough to see how many watts we can possibly get out of this now. Um, because there should be, I mean, in a perfect world, uh, there are um, sort of like, you know, two, four, six, and six, 1200 watts there in an ideal world. Right now in a cloudy world, I don't know if we can see this display because it's not so good in, um, in any outdoor kind of scenario. But yeah, that's about 98, 95 watts. So... It's not brilliant, <laughs> but we'll see how we get on with that. Um, hopefully, like I say, that should pick up a lot more when that sun pops out in a few minutes. Fingers crossed. 
So let's run through some tech specs. So the Afri P310 has a battery capacity of 3,840 watt hours. Now, if you were trying to convert that into sort of 12 volt for van life kind of uh, scenario, uh, that's 320 amp hours of um, usable battery power. So while we wait for the sun to come out, let me just show you what you get in the pack. Obviously that's the instruction manual that you get with warranty details and everything else. You also get this nice bag that you can put over it. And inside the nice bag is a really decent quality, obviously nice and thick mains cable there. And then we've also got the solar charge cable as well with the, uh, the XT90 connection on the back there. So via the XT90 connection on the back, you can even charge it from your car as well. So it can accept um, 12 or 24 volt car charging. So like I say, this input that I've got right now, uh, you can have up to 2000 watts of solar connected up to a maximum voltage of 160 volts. So that's quite good. I mean, that's really seriously gonna get you a lot of potential power um, you know, for solar charging. If you've got a solar array set up, this thing is gonna charge quite rapidly. It, oh, 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 oh. There is blue sky coming, folks. We may well get some real potential. Now you've got the two handles on the top there for carrying it, as well as the pull-out handle that I showed you earlier for sort of wheeling it around. Um, and it weighs 40 kilograms. I'm just gonna stop doing tech specs now because El Sun is just about to pop its head. And I want to see if I can, what sort of power we're getting out of it. Oh, oh come on, son. 4.30. I mean, it is saying that at this rate, in 27 minutes, it's going to be fully charged. So I'm trying to get this as a bit of a shadow so we can see the display on there. So nearly 400 watts coming in now. And 27 minutes to be fully charged, which isn't bad considering if the battery is nearly fully charged it's potentially not dragging in as much power as it otherwise needs um, because it's starting to reduce the power um you know the closer it gets to 100 percent yeah sadly it's not that sunny so you get bursts of sun like you can see the shadows over there now but yeah mostly it's cloudy my nice array isn't quite working the way i thought it was going to to demonstrate how you can see 2000 watts or at least 1200 watts of power going into this. But you get the idea now anyway, how to match it, the um, sort of a number of volts that you can't exceed and obviously the watts that you can't exceed either. So you get what I'm trying to achieve by doing that. So the internal batteries are LifePo 4s and they run at 48 volts as a sort of an internal pack. And obviously that can then more easily generate 12 volts on the front or five volts for USB or 240 volts for the sockets down there. Um, so it's more efficient to run a 48 sort of volt pack inside and then convert it up or down to the different voltages. Come on, I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to make as best possible shade as I can in the sun. Ooh, come on, baby, come on. Now the sun's going back out again. Come on, sun, come on. And then the sun's going again. <laughs> so I recently did a video uh, using these panels just to show whether a solid panel, like a rigid panel that you might put on the roof of uh, your vehicle or whatever, are more efficient than folding solar panels. Um, and you can go watch that video, I'll link it in the video description down below. But the possibilities of carrying around many different types of folding solar panels allow you to set up arrays like this. So wherever you set up with these things, you have the possibility of collecting all the solar you need, obviously, as long as it's up there. <laughs> Which right now looks like we're getting really good solar. So let's go and have a look and see how much we're getting. Not quite as good as I thought, to be fair. I don't know if you can see that. 6.30, probably about the most I saw then. I mean, it's good because it's obviously still getting a good charge out of this. It's nearly fully charged. There's like 20 minutes left to go to charge. It's going to sort of ramp the charge rate down somewhat uh, because we are so close to being fully charged. Uh, the display does dim a little bit. It's not the best to read in direct sunlight. <laughs> um, so yeah, just press one of the buttons and then it sort of uh, goes a bit brighter. But yeah, so if we're sort of like getting 600, 620, maybe 615, 620, whatever, uh, it's saying 15 minutes left to charge, 622. Um, but like I say, the downside of that is the closer it gets to 100%, uh, the less power it's going to actually take from these solar arrays. 
but I just wanted to give you an idea of you know, how it all worked and how you could quite easily charge this using just a few portable solar panels and how easy it is just to connect them all up um, just basically using the, the multi-connector on the back of that connect them all up and like I said this isn't a lot of space I'm taking up at the moment uh, the vans are there um, so yeah I can quite easily just wheel that after it's fully charged put it back in my van and uh, then put all the solar panels in the back of the van and next time we need a lot of power anywhere we are uh, then yeah that's it ultimately I can use that in the van to power all my 240 appliances I could use it to power my 12 volt appliances or I could use that as my sort of uh, hookup in which case I'd just plug my mains charger into that um, and that would charge my sort of uh, you know my leisure batteries in the van there and I think that really does uh, sort of um, yeah indicate that today's playtime is over in trying to demonstrate how much solar you can put through one of these uh, but yeah if you've got a big solar array or you know maybe you just want to charge this thing by a, a smaller one 600 panel or something like that um, obviously it'll just take that much longer but I wanted to show you how fast it will charge from solar um, if you've got enough solar so like I say that was going to charge itself in like 20 minutes or so something like that um, in which case it's well worth carrying this much solar around with you. So thanks very much for watching today's video. Do click in the video description down below if you want to take a further look at these products. I'll put some product links and if I've managed to get a discount from Afari for the P310 uh, then I'll include that discount code down in the video description too. So I'll catch you on the next video guys. Take care. Bye for now.